Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our word for today is uh, good wishes. Read uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 9 to 18. This I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Philippians chapter 1, verse 9. In Singapore, the Chinese New Year seasons, social and business dinners often begin with a dish consisting of salads, dressings, pickles, and raw fish. The name of the dish, Yu Sheng, is a pan that sounds like year of prosperity. It is traditional for those present to toast the salad together. As they do, certain praises are repeated to bring about good fortune. Our words may express our hopes for others for the year ahead, but they can bring about good fortune. The important issue is what does God want to see in us in the coming year? In this letter to Philippians, Paul expresses desire and prayer that their love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Verse 1, chapter 1, verse 9. The church had been a great tower of support for him. Verse 7. Yet he urged them to continue to grow to love others. Paul wasn't talking about intellectual knowledge, but knowledge of God. Love for others starts with a closer relationship with Him. With a fuller knowledge of God, we can then discern between right and wrong, giving our best wishes to others where the coming year is fine. But our heartfelt prayer should be that we abound in love so that we may be filled with the fruits of righteousness to the glory and praise of God. Verse 11. C.P. He has once said, Teach me thy patience, still with thee, in closer, dearer company, in word that keeps faith sweet and strong, in trust that triumphs over wrong. People with a heart for God have a heart for people. Now, our word for today is uh, we should love one another, pray for the needs of others, and always uh, concern and be sensitive to the needs. Always pray for them daily, for their needs, those who are sick, those who are feeling hopeless, depressed, those who need financial needs, who need a job, we should always pray for them. That's what the Father wants us to, to have. If we cannot help with uh, financially or physically or something else, just by prayer will be a lot of help. To be reliant on the Lord, that's, that's the best thing. Pray for them. That God may help them, touch them, and heal them. Now, if you're new in my channel, you have an ex Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I'll, I'll help. I'll lead you in a prayer, and follow me. Please follow me. This is not joining a church, a religion, or joining any organization. We're talking about having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus promised in John three sixteen, God gave His only begotten Son. Whoever believes in Him shall have eternal life. Jesus promised us that when we die, we will go to heaven and be with Him. Paradise. This is a promise. The greatest miracle of all that Jesus died on the cross to save us. That's the best thing for humanity. His compassion and love for us. To die for us as a sinners. Good works is good. Is godly, but it doesn't guarantee heaven. Only Jesus Christ guarantee heaven. We are destined to be uh, born. We are destined to die one day. Nothing happened by accident. God has a plan, purpose, and objectivity. Any moment, we could die. Sometimes uh, by accident. Sometimes heart attack. Sometimes even people just by sleeping. And sometimes we're surprised. People get killed suddenly without uh, really knowing what happened 
why somebody killed them or murdered them. So we could die anytime in our life. Our life is in the hands of God. So this is the right time. Maybe um, you accidentally watching my video or you just want to know what I'm saying. God is a God of plan and purpose. This is happened not, not by accident. God is an omniscient God, omnipotent, and uh, omnipresent. He's everywhere. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. He sent everywhere. He's alive, Jesus, that we may follow His ways and righteousness and, uh, and turn away from our sins. Maybe you're thinking that uh, if this is not the right time, when you grow old or you become a good person, this is the right time. Because as I mentioned, that we don't know when we will die. This is your chance to have this salvation. And God can, the good news is that God can forgive every sin in our life. If you, even if you commit murder, rape, or any sins, God can be forgiven. That's why He died on the cross to save us. If we're uh, anger or or hatred with someone else, we're already already guilty of all sins. If we have sinned once, we're already guilty of all sins. That's what the Bible says. So every sins will be forgiven. The guilt feeling, God will will uh, wipe it away, cleanse it. Every day. The Holy Spirit that Jesus sent will uh, teach you His ways as we read the Bible and grow. Not instantly, but it, it will help you repent of all your sins. If you're involved in uh, idolatry, anything ahead of God is idolatry. Even uh, excessive eating food. Fortune telling, you're going to fortune teller, astrology, yoga, feng shui, mind control. This is not coming from God. You are involved in witchcraft, commit a murder, rape. These things will be forgiven. You are uh, involved in adultery or living in with a partner. This is sin. Fornication. You are constantly watching uh, pornography. You cannot stop smoking, drinking, drunkard. Even into drugs. God can take all away these things. Just Tell Jesus, I'm nothing without you. Reduce me to nothing. God, please help me. I cannot stop without this. And you're gossiping. You're uh, stealing. Cheating. That's all sins. I'll lead you in prayer right now. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming into this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for sending your Holy Spirit. Thank you for convicting me. Lord Jesus, Please come into my heart. I open my heart to you right now. Please be my Lord and only Savior, Jesus Christ. And please help me repent all of my sins. I cannot stop this sinning without your help. Holy Spirit, please help me also that I may know Jesus more and more and read the Word of God, the Bible. And Help me change daily to become more like Jesus and share the good news, salvation to others too, and my loved ones, my friends, my co-workers, and my neighbors. And Lord Jesus, thank you for saving me in the cross. I believe you died for me in the cross and confessed, and you rose again in the third day, and you be my only Lord and Savior, and you be coming back. And now confess all your sins right now to the Lord. If you're sinning in adultery, witchcraft, rape, kill a person, your hatred, bitterness, confusion, fear, confess it right now. Adultery, fornication, lesbianism, homosexuality affairs, you sp smoking, drunkard, drinking, you're into drugs, consulting feng shui, Astrology, mind control, yoga, divination, witchcraft. Confess it right now. God can help you. Confess all your sins. Tell Lord Jesus, I cannot do this without you. Help me, Holy Spirit, that 
I may repent all these sins, idolatry, cheating, lying, gossiping. Please uh, confess it right now to the Lord Jesus. God will forgive all sins. He will help you daily and you will grow. Not instantly. And uh, He will let you grow daily. Sometimes, maybe instantly, it's the Lord's will. Uh, but usually it's... Uh, Step by step, day by day, He will help you repent all this hatred, bitterness, unforgivable spirit. Confess it right now. And I'll also pray for those who are sick in the bodies. Remember, I'm not the healer. Jesus Christ is the healer. Give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone. He sent the Holy Spirit to touch you right now. The Holy Spirit is in this place for the healing. Sometimes healing takes instantly. Sometimes it takes time. You have to wait. Sometimes, no. God has His reason. But His will is to heal. I'll pray for those who are sick in the bodies right now. If you have AIDS, cancer, tumor, in the name of Jesus, I cast all this out in the name of Jesus. You have uh, liver disease, kidney disease, lung disease, heart disease. I cast all this out in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Begin to thank Jesus for the healing. I cast His AIDS, barren, Cripple, deaf, blind, mute. I cast all this out in the name of Jesus. Obey the Son of the living God in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Holy Spirit for the thoughts. Thank Jesus for sending the Holy Spirit for the healing. That Give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone. Confusion, fear, worry, depression, anxiety, hopelessness. In the name of Jesus, I cast all this out. Obey the Son of the living God. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank Jesus for the healing. And give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone. Thank you, Jesus, for the healing. Thank you for sending Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of Jesus, thank you for the touch, for the healing. We give all the praise to Jesus Christ alone. He deserves all the praise and the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you're new in my channel, you have an, uh, subscribed to my video, please consider subscribe. Click the subscribe button. Thank you. And share the video. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching. God bless. See you tomorrow. God bless. Bye.